Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Once again, I'm spanking that National Trust membership. And I'm just on the banks of the River Thames with, once again, the lovely Wendy. Okay. And if we turn around, we are at, I'm gonna come around this way, she's so gonna come around that way. Okay. I'm at the lovely Ham House. Isn't it beautiful? Near Richmond upon Thames. Yes. I haven't been here since about, oh God, 11 years, 12 years ago. You used to work here a few years I back. I did, yes. As a volunteer. So yeah. I'm going to have a look around and uh, hope you can join us. Exciting. Let's go. So, so this is the famous fireplace, which if you've ever seen that film House on Holly Hill, no. they actually well they actually had a fireplace it's all garbage, in it, yeah. and they modelled it on this. Really? Yeah. I know the film. Yeah, but actually, actually the house on Holly Hill, they kind of used Ham House and from what I read, Ham House and the fireplace as a. Um, are you talking use. about the? Are you talking about the classic house of Haunted Hill? No, the second one. The one with Catherine Zeta-Jones in it. Oh, I'm not. That we're, on, we're totally on Lich, a different... Literally, they use this and I think the floor. If you watch that film, you'll see that. But it's pretty, pretty magnificent, isn't it? Yeah. So Ham House was built in 1610 for Sir Thomas Vassar... Vassar? Mm -hmm. I better not pronounce his name, yep. actually. Uh, yeah, who was... Um, but in 1626 it was gifted to a childhood friend of Charles I. Yeah, because he was actually the whipping boy of... Um, I'm sure he was the whipping boy of Charles I or something like that. Or something like that, I remember. the whipping boy, apart from something well, perverted. Well, they took all the crap. Oh, I see, right. You know, okay. so the, 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 the royal wasn't chastised, they would chastise... Someone else, I read there somewhere about the whipping boy. I'm sure it's the first one. Charles. Ooh, ooh. Now, as paranormal investigator, yes. and you as a like raw psychic, I like people call you a raw psychic, okay. which I think is a real compliment. Yeah. Um, this is where the famous, I mean, as I said before, you've seen my photo, but I don't think anywhere is haunted. I think it's everywhere. But there's some intriguing tales from Ham House. Yeah. I mean, the National Trust, you know, boasts it as like, oh, the most haunted house here, and, you know, I just roll my eyes out. It's pretty active. It's pretty active. It's a yeah. pretty active area. And when, when you work here, you actually, you feel it, and you have instances, like with the hand, mm. Oh, and, the, and, and, the, and the walking stick coming down the stairs, yes, which is just here. Um, and then also with the chapel, which we'll go into in a minute, um, that's when they had the two paranormal um, groups in the believers and non believers. They, um, when and you have a paranormal group who are non believers. Well, apparently, because they're trying to prove. Oh, I found that really good. Oh, you don't believe. So but, why do you investigate? But what they were saying about the, the chapel is. Um, yeah. They sat in there all night and nothing happened. And then they left uh, They left early morning and the guard locked up and everything, but it's got those red laser beams. And when he came in the next morning, the chapel was wrecked. And they don't know why, because not, the alarm never picked up anything. Wow, the alarm didn't go off at all? No. And it remains a mystery of what happened. And as I said, the security guards tend to, they tend to leave quite regularly because this place is quite atmospheric. Bring it on. Atmospheric. That's atmospheric. Atmospheric. Yeah, atmospheric. That's our atmospheric. word, isn't it? Atmospheric. So you're on the public. Mm. <laughs> we are in the chapel, but it's very low light, unfortunately, so I can't really see much. Well, I mean, this is the same. This is the famous chapel, which apparently was supposed to have been wrecked, but actually, her second, her second husband, or was it one of her husbands? She, she literally kept him in here for a long time right. before she let him go but it's quite um brooding isn't it yeah very brooding that could be the low light as well yeah it's, yeah it's but quite it an amazing heavy. room yeah it, it does feel very, very heavy very heavy in here yeah. I'm just walking up the grand staircase here at ham house ham i think it's old english for settlement by the river bend yes, that's right. or something along those lines something like that. Um, these magnificent mm -hmm. paintings. Mm -hmm. Do you want to go up there? Do you want to go up there? Uh, yeah, and then we'll go back down. Yeah, you can just go up to this little view here. <coughs> We've got some bit of a bleach out there, but there's the lovely gardens outside. Isn't it gorgeous? Very um, fun. So, little juicy gossip here for you. Okay. Like so, they had a trip. <laughs> they had um, apparently a school trip, and um, they used to, this place used to look very different. And one of the there used to be a little skeleton over there of a, of one of the ladies, um, one of her dogs. 
and which was uh, actually we buried outside now. Uh -huh. but, um, a girl started to run and um, apparently there was another staircase at the time or whatever but she almost fell and tripped and they, I can't remember the whole story but basically she said she thought there was something there mm -hmm. it wasn't there it hadn't been there for hundreds of years but she, this little girl said she saw it and they can hear the little dog still scamper around here because obviously they dug it up yeah. they dug it up they found it under the tree it was the, uh, the duchess's dog uh, she had spaniels I think and they still got the skeleton but they've now reburied it because it's a sad thing, isn't it, to dig it up and then put it on Yeah, show. I've never been one for that, or it's been disturbed and it, no. it causes activity. Although they did on the on the Mary Rose, they, they found the dog and did it bone by bone. Wow. And they've actually put it back together and you can see the skeleton of the little wow. dog. Wow. So I guess in something like that, it's better to maybe yeah, bring yeah. it up. But digging it up outside, I need to find out, you know, the first. Um, she went and the place I'm always really young. Um... The Duke and Duchess of Oh wow. She's like, don't blink. Oh yeah, and blink, yeah. You never see a nice statue, you do think that, don't I you? I do think, know? especially with the cherubs, because like, I remember that episode, that's what brings me. They're beautiful. Yeah. Oh my gosh, the long gallery. Isn't it beautiful? <laughs> 350 years old, isn't that Charlie? Yeah. Oh, that's Charles. That's Charlie, number two. What, Charlie? Is it Charlie two? Charlie two, Charlie yeah. Charlie two, yeah. You reclaim the throne. Yeah. But didn't have a legitimate heir. No, no. Yeah. He was a bit of, bit of a lad. Well, he had quite a few children, <laughs> yeah, didn't he? He yeah. was quite busy. Yeah. He was very busy. Incredible. I do like long galleries. There's something about long galleries I absolutely like. There's a great one um, at Knoll House recently. Hampton Court's got a nice one. Yeah, it's got and, a very uh, nice uh, one. It's got a nice one. Yes, which I've been to both in the last two years. So yeah, was one of my favourites. Yeah, I'll um, I've got, I'll link those videos below. No, isn't that one of the Joneses? Yeah, it's James, like James the first. Is it James the first? James the first. Oh, there's going to be historians I know going, oh, Mark, don't oh be such a twat. Don't be such a twat. What is this, like, Hitchhiker's Guide yeah. to History? Yeah. So this is the library, is it? This is the library. Unfortunately, it's closed. There's a key, but I'm not sure I'm brave enough to break the glass. Yeah. It's yeah. very nice in there. Yeah. Wow, some old books in there. Mm. But she was... Um, it's going to the Queen's apartment. So we're going down into the servants' passage. Oh, yeah, I quite like the stairs myself. Yeah. Oh yes, it's the bedroom. Oh, is it off it is? We're going to the I believe we will be going into the bedroom. Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at these lovely old rooms. Could do, could do, a, could do a bit of a bit of a clink. Could do a bit of a fascinating. Yeah. Like they're a portal. They are a portal. They're a portal. Yeah. And so here we are looking at them now, but and faces looking back. Yeah, if I turn the camera around and we can see what we're talking about. Yeah, that's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Mirror, mirror, also a classic uh, Star Trek episode yes. in the original series. Yes, it was. Oh, bedroom. Yeah. So apparently <clears throat> they had the floor done, polished and, and you know, and then what happened was, uh, obviously it was shut up for the night, no one was here. Mm -hmm. And when they came down, they found a footprint, a footprint, and no one had been in. And it was a very, very small footprint just here. This is the footprint, nobody knows. But this is her bedroom, and apparently her eyes follow you in whatever direction you move. Thanks very much. 
Yeah, I walked in this room and it's so. Both felt went, dizzy. I wasn't expecting. I walked in and went. Poof. It's right here. As, uh, yeah. You feel like they're slightly dizzy, slightly. Ooh, yeah. like a bit Captain Jack Sparrow. Mm. Right? I the most thing I most ever had this was at the um, the chapel at Hampton Court a couple of years yeah, ago. I wasn't there. expecting. I was just going in there looking at history. Mm. I walked into the chapel, nearly almost, and I'm sound like I'm exaggerating. It nearly knocked me out, knocked me backwards, and I walked out fine. But it feels like a heaviness yeah. on your back. Yeah, as walked well. out fine. Walked back in again. Yeah, you got to you got to have to test these things because you might have uneven ground. Mm -hmm. You know. But we just walked in and we just yeah. weren't even thinking about no, that. We just walked history. in and it was like, ooh. Yeah, we're looking at it. Look and it's a kind of a dizzy, nauseous yes. kind of feeling. Like, yeah. ooh, I feel a bit, ooh. Yeah. Yeah. And it's weird. What Energy! Is this, what is this room? Um, what is this room that we're in? Because we've got the wheelchair. Yeah. So obviously that was her wheelchair. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That was her wheelchair. So. Just out of curiosity, yeah. As we walk out. Bam, gone. No, it feels lighter, but yeah. it still feels so, heavy. Well, you're much more in tune than yeah, I am. It still feels heavy. I felt it on my back, ran on my back, is where I normally feel it. But when I walked in there, I felt really sick, like really mm. like nauseous and dizzy. And it's only when you said it, I was like, oh my God. Oh, oh yeah, always, it's always worth mentioning. I mean, I think it's the children, but... That is a really creepy picture, isn't it? Isn't it? It's, it's a creepy it's picture. It's a really creepy picture. Oh, it's with a butler once. With a butler? He would check food. Oh, he yeah. would, um, so a bit like, you know, oh God, that's not good, we can't serve it to them. Take it downstairs. That's what it was. Mm, that's interesting. Wow. I'm going down. down. Are you yeah. ready to go down? I'm always ready to go down. Are you sure you're ready to I'm go ready down? To go down. Because, you know, going down can lead to anywhere. She's terrible. She's awful. You just She's rubbed me out the right way. I know. <laughs> oh. Hello. I'm coming in here. Yeah. I mean, look, this is really interesting. Mary Hobley, which is uh, here. Mary Hobley, discovery made, worked here 1673 to 1680. What a hard life it must have been. Bit of a titter. Titter. What do you think of a titter? <laughs> you know, you like it. I think Mark, you need it, but I'm not quite sure what the virtue was in the cone. No, it's interesting, isn't it? May not get a signal down here, so. Oh, right, we'll have to look at that later on. Yeah, we'll check that out, because yeah. I'd like to know that up when I leave here. <laughs> I'll do a little, so I've got to skin a little bit. Give it a rub. Oh. But nothing against the church in uh, the one over in Old Woking I saw the other week. That's the oldest door in Surrey, so nothing can impress me more than that. So. Bathroom, oh, the lovely bathroom. Oh, Just nice. what I needed. It was one of the first in the country. Yes. It's a dipser. It's a dipser. It's a little dipser. A little dipser in the bathroom. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Isn't that amazing? It's almost like a little shower. So here we are. We've walked around the house. Yeah. Had some very interesting tidbits from, We've had some from Wendy. Some interesting experiences. Yes. Yes. Very. I need to refresh my memory. Mm. But uh, it's interesting because I work in 112. Hold on. One, two, three, four. 122. 112 year old building at a theatre. But I very. I don't ever pick up. I don't feel. And you did nothing. just then. You just went straight in and wallop. Yeah, wallop. It was there. It was a wallop. So we're going to go outside and have a look around the grounds. And hopefully there's a National Trust shop here because I really want some mead. Yes. So let's go and find let's you Let's go some. and find. Come on. So, according to John Gerard, 1597, he said of Sage that it 
maketh a man to piss well. Oh. To piss well, darling. <laughs> well, Nicholas Culpepper, 1616, good year. And 1654 advised that it preserves the liver and bodies of men from the danger of epidemical diseases and from witchcraft also. Ooh, also. also. Witchcraft. We're talking about uh, when we've got a plane going over from Heathrow yep. Airport. And this is a precious herb well worth keeping in your house. Widely used to treat sore throats. Witchcraft, sir. Witchcraft. How dare they? I've been, a, I've been a member of the National Trust, oh god, I don't know, 20 years probably? They let you in on a regular basis, well, don't they? Well, that, I haven't used it for quite a while, I thought, well, I'm here now, let's, let's start spending. Do... Cat alert, there's, a cat, there's a cat down there. There's a pussy. We're going to go, oh, I'll keep going Go on then, come on. regulars. Fantastic second-hand bookshop. Mm -hmm. okay. Went to having a toilet. <laughs> it's turned into a really nice day actually. Really warm. For a walk around the grounds. And then, oh, well, we've got elderberry port liqueur. Oh, that looks nice. Market, market action, that's yeah. what he does. It looks nice. It's quite interesting that I'm filming you now because normally you're the filmer. I know, I'm not filming you. And hello. Hello. Oh, some elderberry port liquor. Passion fruit curd, sir. Well, how about a bit of sour cherry? Mm. Sour cherry. Mm. Sour cherry, sir. I don't know what the. That, I don't know. Elderberry port liquor looks rather nice, isn't it? I'm quite fancy with ginger one. So. Do you like ginger? Do you oh, like, like a bit, like a bit, a bit, bit, of, bit of ginger? I like a bit of ginger. Mm. Mm. Oh, so, I don't know, I do like the elderberry and port liquor, ladies and gentlemen. Going into the gardens. Oh, yeah, look at that. In the back of the house, like we did. Lovely. Isn't it? So what's what's what story is this you got? So uh, little rumour was that um they used to have this as a hospital. Mm -hmm. Um and there are sorry, I just scratched you there my nail. I'm so sorry, darling, I'm so sorry. That's right. Was, was it harder than normal? <laughs> um literally it was rumours of that somebody threw themselves off the the top floor. Um, I'm not sure if it was a soldier or if it was a maid or whatever, but there was suicide there. Okay. So it was very sad, very sad that very someone sad. decided to do it because you wouldn't think it would be enough to kill you, would you, that height? Um, Damage you, maybe. What, what, from the top? From like... Oh, God, yeah, that'd kill you outright. Do you want to give it a go? No, because <laughs> I love life. <laughs> no, I'm just saying it's that, you know, and what about that little joke we just heard? Yeah. Like you couldn't creep home... Yeah. <laughs> We're saying because of the, of the gravel here, you couldn't creep, creep home drunk one night. You couldn't. You'd be like, because all gravel. They'd know. They'd know, yeah. You'd be in for it, Mark. Mm, I would. You'd be in for it. The top floor, they, she was either a maid or it was the, the soldier. I know a soldier killed himself. He, right. It was suicide, which back then yeah. would have been real mm. sinful. Um, but yeah, so I've, you know, beautiful place and sad stories. Yeah. Kind of come, come with I'm me. following you then. Come hither. Come hither. It's a, it's Ooh, not a, we thought it was a maze, but it's not. Can see? It's a lovely uh, cathedral of uh, trees, yeah. which is a bit dark, unfortunately. Considering we're right by Heathrow Airport and there's planes going over, it's actually not that intrusive, is it, really, no. when you think about no. it? You know. Um, oh, because Heathrow. In the old days, it would have been really quiet. Yeah. How yeah, because aeroplanes weren't around then. They weren't then, no. Smells lovely, yeah. Yeah, lavender. Well, we've got lavender obviously around Harsh Alton, famous lavender fields. You've never been there. Haven't you? No. I'll say, we'll, we'll go there in the summer, it's really interesting. There's a house behind us. Isn't 
interesting thing though with the the snake. Yeah. That's almost like what, the snakes? oh, the snakes around the around the. Yeah. Thing, yeah. What is the symbol of that? Mm. It's his wings. He's got little wings. Yeah. Okay. So this could be the end of the uh, end of the estate. Yes. No door. Just a gate. Just door going up this way overhead again. And you go straight back down towards the house back down there, which is uh, rather lovely. So there you go, guys. A nice little trip around Ham House. Ham House. Near Richmond upon Thames with Wendy. Thank, thank you, you very for much having for having me. Oh, well, thank, thank you, sir. No, thank you for joining me. It's been fantastic. I've had a great time. I'll have a few more like this. Yeah. Enjoyed it. Um, this is National Trust property, just uh, in, near Richmond upon Thames, just by the River Thames. Yeah. Fantastic property. If you are a National Trust member, start spanking that card. Yes. Bring come come yeah. along. Bring the family. Yeah. And as always, please like, subscribe, all that jazz. And we'll see you next time on this gloriously warm day. I think it's a pub calling now. I do think it's a pub calling. See you next Snap. time. Bye. Bye.